What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jamie's Reviews. I am Jamie Sir Michael, and today we are back on the trail with something new from Skechers. And to help me out, I brought back Zach. Hashtag beard or no. I choose beard. So Skechers let us try their new speed trail hyper. And it seems like everything with the name hyper is a winner in our book. But we'll see how this one turns out. And since I am known as the Skechers guy, it is only right that I get my thoughts on it. So let's get right into it. This is our review of the Skechers Speed Trail Hyper. So Skechers gave this shoe their minimal yet supportive mono mesh upper. It is reinforced with some overlays and includes a toe cap that you would expect in any decent trail shoe. The texture of the upper has a slick feel to it, which gave us confidence that nothing on the trail was going to snag or rip against the mesh. The tongue of the Speed Trail is a burrito style cut. It's almost like a one piece upper that's unattached on the lateral side. Now I'm not sure what this benefits, but either way, it had a very nice fit. Kind of that one with your foot type feel. Snug in the midfoot, but not too tight. And not being too tight is what makes this trail shoe one of the best fitting trail shoes for me. The toe box in this shoe was great out of the box, width wise. My toes could splay naturally, and I had no issues of feeling cramped. The upper itself keeps a pretty minimal design. There's very little padding in the interior of the shoe, which worried me at first. But neither Zach, Megan, or myself had any issues with the fit. All three of us agreed that it had a great fit all around. Now the most interesting part of the upper is the lacing system. So the heel has very little structure, which seemed like it would be an issue. But Skechers introduced their heel lock system that locks in the heel very securely. As you're pulling in the laces, the laces going around the heel tightens up and ensures that the shoe is locked down. And although this is a bit different, it worked very well. But even with that said, the best part of the upper is the pull tab, gang gang. Now for the purpose of being a faster, up-tempo trail shoe, this upper seems to hit all the marks. It's simple, yet effective. A solid A on the upper. In the midsole, you got a combination of hyperburst foam that runs from the heel through the midfoot, combined with some ultralight foam in the forefoot. The ultraflight foam has a slightly softer feel to it, whereas the hyperburst has a bit more bounce to it. And between the foams, you have an outsole plate that keeps the rigidity of the ride responsive and stable. The ride is pretty smooth, especially for a trail shoe. The plate itself just allows the shoe to have a nice roll off. It is not going to be as aggressive as some of the carbon plate shoes that we've seen on the market. So don't get too excited. Either way, the cushioning seemed to hold up well. But I would still consider this something for shorter or faster trail runs. Whereas something like the Hoka Speedgoat 4 would be a bit better for those longer trail runs. If you're into that kind of thing. And yes, I mentioned a Hoka shoe in a Skechers review. Mind blown. <laughs> Alright, so the outsole uses a multi-directional design with the use of Goodyear rubber throughout the shoe. The traction did quite well on the roads and trail. However, I felt that the lugs themselves only provided so much when it came to traction on more extreme trails. So maybe don't go wandering off into the uncharted mountains. That's when you go grab the speed goats. But other than that, the outsole held its own. And it's not too aggressive to where you can't run on the roads. So far, my favorite trail shoe of the year was the Nike Terra Tiger 5. It was lightweight, had a good fit, and was enough of a trail shoe for my personal needs. And well, after trying this, I'm thinking the Speed Trail Hyper might take that spot. Now, I don't run trail marathons or run trails every day. I go maybe a handful of times a month. I enjoy mixing it up for my typical routes. So for someone who needs a solid trail option that feels great, this can be it. And if you are in need of a fast trail shoe for a 5k or a half marathon trail race, the Speed Trail Hyper would be ideal. But if you're an intense Solomon running with two walking poles type runner, then probably not. Either way, Zach, Megan, and I really like this shoe. And as far as we're concerned, it's good to go. Impressive. And we are back, Zachary, back on the channel after a long hiatus. It was like three, four, five months. I don't know how long it was. It's been a minute. As a matter of fact, I haven't seen you since the On Cloud Swift review. Yeah, so was that March? That was a while back. It was a while back. The shoe was brand new, now it's old and rusty. Yeah. But today, we got, boom, Speed Trail, Hyper. So, you know, people always say, I'm the Skechers guy. You're, you know, you're not anything. You're kind of just like, um, whatever's good's good. Yeah. 
So I feel like let the people know the good, the bad, mm -hmm. the ugly. This card's back here, got the music on. Yeah. But it's okay. It's my favorite song. I hate the song. Any All thoughts right. about the shoe? Yeah, definitely. Um, the Goodyear sole, that was neat. Come on, girl. Girl, stop it. Uh, the, the big difference in this for a trail running shoe is that it was very lightweight. I think this is uh, very similar to the, what's the, uh, whatever Nike's running, uh, trail shoe was. The Kyger. Yeah, the Kyger. Very similar upper in the regards to very lightweight. I did like that, but uh, for a trail running shoe, I don't know how long that's going to last. So it'll be fun. It's a pretty shoe, I think. Um, what's really cool is this uh, lace system that kind of secures the heel, which I'm a big fan of. That's probably my favorite thing about this shoe. You just pull it and it secures that heel. That's pretty neat. Um, that's probably one of the most standout features on this shoe. Um, the sole seems like it would last decently long. Um, this is like a middle distance trail running shoe. It's not going to last you more than one season, I'd say, if you're put in the mileage. Yeah, it's a fun shoe. It's lightweight, which I'm always a fan of. Um, I would say it's going to be light and smooth. Um, just a little bounce, not too much though, because uh, I think for a trail you don't want a ton of bounce. You're going to want something that's a little bit more firm. This is actually pretty soft for a trail shoe. Um, you know, this feels a lot like, uh, like some road shoes, but a little bit heavier for a road shoe. Yeah, I'm a fan of it. It's uh, It's got some interesting colors going on, but uh, that's Skechers. How was the grip on the, the rocks and the sticks and the dirt? Uh, the dirt, it's pretty good. Um, you know, it's, it's going to work on these uh, medium trails that we have here in Austin, you know. Uh, anything that's going to be more rocky, this thing's just going to get obliterated. It's, it's not going to have enough grip for that. Um, this is way too soft down here. It's going to get completely shredded. Uh, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means it's uh, not meant for all trails. It's not your hardcore all out up a mountain. It's like your, you know, it's fast day. Maybe a race day for a trail. Maybe. Yeah, this is like your, uh, if the trail's pretty, like, you know, urban trails is why we wear this. There we go. Yeah, you know, this isn't going to be your uh, your 50K, you know, ultra trail or anything like that. I wouldn't be wearing this for that. Uh, you know, if you're running this through muds and, you know, uphills and taking, you know, hundreds of miles, or not hundreds of miles, but hundreds of feet of elevation. This thing's not gonna, doesn't, it doesn't feel, I'll put it that way, it doesn't feel like it's gonna go the distance in that way, but it's a fun lightweight shoe. I'm always a fan of lightweight. Um, comparing it to something like the Speed Goat, the Speed Goat would be something you just take out and you beat the tar out of, but this I would not. Facts. Yeah. You know, I think we're, we might get the Speed Goat 4 pretty soon. Ooh. So we might try that. Yeah. Back to the trail. Back to the trail. Um, so I'm doing this new system of rating modified. Mm -hmm. So out of like a letter grade, mm -hmm. A, A plus, A minus, B, and all that, mm -hmm. or what would you give it overall? Just overall, the the shoe cost I believe is one thirty ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with a for 130 bucks, I'd give this thing like a B, a solid B. Um, if you're looking to get into trail running and trail running shoes and you're a road runner, I think this would be a really uh, fun introductory shoe, especially for urban trails. It's a solid B. Solid B. Solid B. I think I'm going to give it a B minus. B minus, yeah. A B minus. Really good though. Yeah, it's good. I kind of like it more than the Kyger. Really? Like, the more I wore it, the more I was like, you know what, I think this was a little more of a serious. Yeah, They're definitely. Both, both lightweight trail shoes, yeah. same purpose, but I, I kind of like this, this one a little better. Yeah. I, I like the lacing system. I agree with you on that. This is a bit more of a workhorse than the Kyger. All right. So, usually I tell them to stay in school, mm -hmm. don't do drugs, keep it tight. But since I'm behind the camera, I guess if you want to do the honors. All right. So stay in school, don't do drugs, and if you can... Keep it tight. Yes, that beard though. Yes. All right, nice dramatic long way, long jump. Right. Don't pull a groin. Don't pull a girl? Groin. Oh, groin. All right, and go. That wasn't it, I'm not sure what was. <laughs>